What's up guys, MGH here and welcome back to the Golden Oldies Challenge I'm doing with Chani and Chez. Don't forget to check them out in the description below if you want to watch their parts of the series so you can keep up to date on how we're doing. But if you missed the introduction video where we were in a Skype call, we built our teams, we talked about the wildcard choices, then please do go back onto my channel and watch episode one from Monday. Um, but today it's episode two and it's going to be the first episode in which we are going to start our progress in the Premier League with QPR. Now, obviously, we have replaced all the default players with our own choices, so I'm going to run you through the team very quickly if you've missed the first video and can't be able to go back. We have Ibrahimovic as my first wild card up front. I used another wild card because don't forget I had four in total because we all had one and I won three at the end of last season or the last series, I should say. Um, I used one of them to boost his stamina to 99, and I think he's going to be... He's going to benefit so much from that. That's what I think anyway. I then used another uh, wild card to get Ribery. And obviously one of the wild cards was to go first and then have Ibra. So that's four total. So Ribery goes on the left. We have Kaka as my cam. Quaresma on the right side. Gerard and De Rossi as my holding midfielders. We then have Evra, who by the way is already starting to go down, I've noticed. Which is a bit scary for me. Mascherano, Naldo, Dani Alves and Bravo in goal. On the bench we have Pepe, um, Ivanovic, Melo, Pirlo, Dempsey, Lichsteiner, Rosicki and then Elisiu, Matthew and Moya as the reserves. So I think we've got an absolutely fantastic squad although all three of us have got good squads and I don't know who's going to win this. I generally don't. I thought with Depay in the U squad challenge I was onto a winner. With Ibra and Ribery I'm not feeling as confident, but I think we can still pull this off, guys. So, Team MGH in the comments, guys. Hashtag Team MGH. So, before we get into the first game, guys, I want to show you the results of the friendlies that I've simulated. So, against Villarreal, we won 4-0. Um, against Palermo, we won 2-1, which is a very good result, considering it was away. And then another home game, we won 4-0. So, now, we need to pick one of these games that we're going to play. So, we've got Hull at home, so that's very winnable. We've got Sunderland at home after away, Tottenham away. So I think that's the game we're going to play this month. So looks like we're simulating Hull. Let's do it. First game, we really want to get off to a good start and we should absolutely demolish Hull. So let's see what the result's going to be. It's a 3-1 win, although I just forgot I should let it play out. So my apologies, I just skipped it through. I don't know, I'm always skipping it. So Evro gets two goals and Quaresma gets the third and uh, they scored late on there. A nice consolation goal for them to make it 3-1. So three points to start off the season, guys. And now we're going to be playing the first match that we're actually playing. And that is going to be against Tottenham at Shite Hart, White Hart Lane. Excuse me. And I'm really excited to see how the team plays together. Especially with the big man himself up front. Ibrahimovic and Ribery down that left side is going to be so dangerous. Here goes Lamella though. Down this right side is Eriksson. Good bit of defending there. Can Ribery get there? No, he can't. Do not concede early on. No, no way is that a penalty. I've got the ball with Mascherano there. That is an absolute killer. Luckily, he's not getting sent off though. But now in the first seven minutes of this game, Harry Kane versus Bravo. Oh shit. Okay, I'm gonna go bottom left. I'm not changing my mind. Bottom left corner. He's gone down the middle. God damn it, we're one nil down. This is not a good start, guys. I should mention though, guys, we are playing on legendary difficulty. We have not changed the tactics of the team whatsoever, so it's completely even. All the difference is, is having different players that we have chosen. So it's a level playing field. I'm gonna get a cross in here for Ibra. Can you imagine if he scored with his first touch? I even have I haven't even had the ball with Ibra yet. Oh hang on. Hang on, here goes Ibra with his 99 stamina. Inside to Kaka. Back to Ibra. He's on side. But he's missed. How have you missed that? I can't believe that. Through ball. That's beautiful. Come on, Charisma. Get in there. Deflected in off Kabul, but I don't give a shit. Really nice pass from Kaka, who rode the challenge from Kapue, I think that is. And I am lucky to get that one in, though. So a big problem with this series, you know, we're using old players, is they're going to get tired. Most old players in the game do not have very good stamina. So Kaka's a little bit tired already, so we're going to bring on Rosicki. Um, I'm also going to take off Gerard and bring on Pirlo. And Mascherano with that yellow card, I don't really want to risk it, so Pepe's going to come on. Over the top, maybe. It's a lovely ball to Ribéry. Get the cross in. No, I couldn't get the cross in. That could be one of the last chances on the wing. This is nice. Here's Patrice Everett. No, yes, he's still got it. Get the cross in. 
Yes, come on. Someone? No. No way have I not managed to score. This is going to be the last attack. I see Ibra's run. Oh, wow, ref. Wow, you're going to end the game there? We've dropped two points against Tottenham, which uh, I'm, I've got to say, I'm very disappointed with that result. Ibra wasn't very good, so hopefully I'm going to learn to play with him a little bit better. Well, now we have our home match against Sunderland. Should be three points, right? It should be. Let's see what happens here. My team is fully fit, and I'm hoping that we're going to get at least three, maybe even four goals today. Ribery opens his, his account for QPR. Never thought I'd say that. And it's 1-0 going into halftime. Still 1-0. There we go. Second half has begun. Ibra's missed the penalty. Are you kidding me, dude? Surely not. We're not going to only win 1-0. They could score and that will be it. Rosicki makes it too. What a legend. And there you go, guys. That is going to be a win for us. Well, it didn't take long, guys. We picked up our first injury, but luckily enough, it's only seven days and it is to my backup right midfielder, Lichsteiner. So not really going to affect me, but I'm hoping we stay clear of injuries for pretty much the whole of this series. So I should definitely mention this, guys. We always forfeit the cup competitions. We only want to play the Premier League games and uh, it would be unfair if we played the competitions outside of the Premier League because obviously fitness, injuries, things like that. So obviously we do have a 3-0 loss there because of the forfeit. We then have Manchester United away. Definitely going to be playing this one, I think, because Stoke at home, Southampton away, both winnable games there. So it's time to go to Old Trafford and try and get three points there. So here we are, guys. This is going to be a very difficult game here at Old Trafford. Um, Evra is back home, back at Manchester United today. And uh, we definitely need the three points. After drawing against Spurs, I would very much like a better performance today. Here is Ibrahimovic over to Kaka. Can he get around? He can. Can we get back inside? Lovely scoop. Oh my god, Kaka is back, guys. I said it in the last episode in the introduction. I feel like he's had a resurgence in the last few years of his career. He is killing it in the MLS and it looks like he's going to be fantastic for me as well. Oh shit, I've let Rooney through. No, Ashley Young has fluffed it. Must have been distracted with the bird shit in his mouth. <laughs> oh my god, what the hell was that? Here goes Ibra, he's through. He smacks it but De Gea, he's always going to save that. Oh no, I've missed my tackle. No! Welcome to another career mode by MGH with shit defending on display 24-7. It's just way too easy as normal. I slide in, I overcommit my players and they find the back of the net. Go on Evra, through ball for Ibra, that's nice. Inside with the Berber spin. Going back on the outside again. Surely he's got the pace on Evans. I think he has. Finish it now mate. Yes Ibrahimovic, that is why I picked him over Robin. Iniesta, Lam, he is going to score me goals. It's as simple as that. Look how easy it is as well. The finish, man. That's his first goal, but first of many. I'm really hoping he's going to break 20 in this season. And that is the end of the first half. So a lot better from me compared to the Tottenham game. But still, my defence letting me down a little bit. Well, I'm containing Man United much better in this second half. And we've actually got a lucky break here, I think. Here goes Kaka. Ibra's not made a run, though. So we're going to have to come back in on the inside. He's made his run now. Come on, get there, son. No. And to make things a little bit easier for myself defensively, I'm going to bring on the brutal Felipe Melo. He is, wow, yeah, he's strong. I'm also going to bring on Ivanovic at right back because Dani Alves runs up the pitch so much. Cut inside here. Lovely little fake shot over the top for Koresma. What a pass that is. Control it. Hits it. What? He's been pulled back quite clearly. If they score after that, I will be absolutely mortified and depressed and upset and pissed off and everything you can think of because we should have had a penalty there and maybe a red card. And now, I'll tell you what, if they score, no, nope, they're not going to thank God for that. We get a win at Old Trafford. That could be one of the biggest results of the season because I always seem to struggle against United and that is a very good performance. And now it's time for the game against Stoke, guys. 10 minutes in, there has been nothing but a yellow card, of course, to a Stoke player. Shawcross this time. 25 minutes in, still no goals. It looks like we're going to be going nil-nil at half-time here. Well, that's a bit boring, isn't it? Surely someone's going to score. Look at my team and then look at Stokes. I mean, come on. Surely we're going to beat them, right? Still nothing. 70 minutes in. Are you kidding me? Ribbery, thank you. Finally, we do get a goal and we get lucky, guys. That is a 1-0 win against a very difficult opposition. 
But this one I'm a little bit nervous about. Southampton away from home. I just have a feeling that we're not going to win this game. They've won two out of their last three, so they're in decent form. Pella's got a yellow card after eight minutes, but once again, the first half seems to be really boring. Oh my god, they've gone down to ten men. This is a chance. We can do this, lads. Come on. Please, just don't pick up any injuries and win the game. That's all I'm asking for here. Ribery. So, oh, Naldo, of course he gets injured. My best defender. Please, 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 someone score. Or just don't concede. Take a point. Take a point. I'll do it. Okay. It's not bad. We're still unbeaten. We get a point. Let's see how bad Naldo's injury is. Well, we're quite lucky. It's only nine days. So, uh, luckily we do have Pepe anyway, who can step in and do a very similar job to Naldo. So, guys, after six games, we are second place. Joint, basically joint top with Chelsea. We've got... Four wins, two draws, no losses. We've scored nine, conceded three, giving us a goal difference of six. And we have 14 points. Unbeaten. And that I am very proud of so far. I know we're going to pick up a few injuries here and there. I know we'll probably lose a few games. I know a lot of my players are going to be tired. Uh, but luckily enough, Ibra won't be tired. He's got 99 stamina, remember. So that is going to come in handy a lot this season, I think. But that is going to be it, guys. We're going to wrap up the episode now. Don't forget to check out Chani and Chez's versions in the description below and don't forget to go and spam their chat sections with hashtag team mgh we're gonna win this again hopefully and uh, it's gonna be interesting to see how it goes so thanks for watching the second episode and i will see you on friday for another one